very, very sad. Mad miracles to the left, to the right now, to the left, to What's the right. What's up, guys? It's me, Gloria Del Bed Robin. Today, I have a really fun video planned for you guys. We have a book haul. This is all the books I've gotten in the past 2020 and in 2021. I hope you enjoyed this book haul. So, let's get started. Okay, I have all of my favorite books here in this bin. It's very heavy. But this is all of the book, really good books I got during 2020 and 2021. So I'm going to show you the first one. We have Diary of the Wimpy Kid. This is a classic favorite for me. Um, everybody knows Diary of the Wimpy Kid. But if you don't, I will be leaving every book in the, the link to it on Amazon in the description box below. So you guys can check them out and buy them. So this is the Diary of the Wimpy Kid one. Okay, the next book I have is Guts. This is my favorite book by this author, Ray Rihanna Teldemeyer. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah. So this is one of my favorite books ever, and I love this book. So I will leave this in the description box. We also have Sisters. This is another one by... Rihanna Telgemeier. I don't know if I pronounce it right. I'm so sorry, guys. But, yeah, this is Sisters. It's about the sisters. So, it's one of my favorites. Next, we have Dork Diaries, Tales from a Not-So-Happy Heartbreaker. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, but at the end of this video, I will be reading the first page of each and every one of these books to show you guys. So, yeah. But this is a really good one. Dork Diaries, Tales from a Not-So-Happy Heartbreaker. The next book, I'm, I gotta find the first book in the series. Okay, here it is. Because of Mr. Tarrant. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. But this book is the best book. The series, I'm sorry. The series is the best series I've ever read in my entire life. It is so good. It's by Rob Baia. And this is a book, I'm gonna tell you what it's about, just a little spoiler. It's about their teacher who like handles, can handle all the kids, the mean one, the shy one, all the, all the different personalities, the nerdy one. And then one day, one of them throws a snowball at him and he goes into a coma. Um, if you don't know what a coma is, it's like a sleep, but when you're sick. So, well not sick, yeah, but pretty, yeah, pretty much like that. So this is a really good book and there's a series of it. Okay, so the next one I have is the second book in the series, Mr. Terp Falls Again. So, basically in the last book, I'm going to tell you, spoil it for you, I'm sorry, but the teacher ends up going with them for another year. So, in this book, it's about their an another year with them. Okay, guys, so the next book I got is Dork Diaries, Tales from a Not-So-Smart Miss Know-It-All. So, she writes with, for a newspaper anonymously named, and her fake name is Miss Know-It-All. So, she, it's about her adventures, Nikki, in this book, Nikki Maxwell. I have Diary of the Wimpy Kid, Cabin Fever. So, um, everybody knows Diary of the Wimpy Kid, really. But this one is where he's stuck in the house, and he's, like, scared of something. Um, but... Yeah, and they have a blizzard, so this is about that one. Okay, so I have Diary of the Wimpy Kid Dog Days. It's about Greg Heffley's Summer. I believe there is a movie of this one, Roger Rules, the first one, and The Long Haul. So you guys can watch this. They're all on Disney+. Plus, and they might be on Amazon or something. I don't really know where they are. But, yes, I have Diary of the Wimpy Kid Double Down. This is a very good book um, at Greg wants to make a movie, a horror movie. It's very good, very funny. I suggest like getting this if you like funny books. And then the, I'm sorry, this is a bookmark because I'm still reading it. But this is the third book in the Mr. Tarot series. There is currently a fourth book on Amazon, which I will leave in the description too. But this one is really good. I'm currently reading it. But you guys just have to buy it for yourself. This one is pretty much... Well, not the best book in the series, but because I haven't read all of them. But this one is very good, so I suggest buying them. Last but not least, out of all these books, we have Smile by Raina Telgemeier. And if this video, you guys actually comment down below your favorite book. And by the end of this month, whichever book gets the most vote, I will do a read aloud of them. Of course, I'll do a read aloud of the other books. If you guys would want that, just comment down below which ones you want me to do a read aloud of. 
All right, guys, remember, I told you that I would be doing this special thing where I read one page of each and every book, which is going to take a while, so this video is going to be a little bit long, but I hope you guys enjoy it. But I forgot to say, the Mr. Tarrant book is very, very sad in the middle, but then at the end it gets happier. So, yeah, but now I'm going to show you guys the sneak peek of each and every one of these books. Let's go. Chapter 1. Smile. Flash. Good. Let's get you set up on a chair, and the orthodontist will look at your teeth in a few minutes. Hi, Raina. I'm Dr. Dragon. Hi. So you're in sixth grade. Where do you go to school? Hunks, tunks. Because of Mr. Turret. No pictures in this book. Because of Mr. Turret by Rob Fire. September. It's our bad luck to have teachers in this world, but since we're stuck with them, the best we can do is hope to get a brand new one instead of a mean old fart. New teachers don't know the rules, so you can get away with things the old timers would squash you for. That was my theory. So I was feeling really excited to start fifth grade since I was getting a rookie teacher, a guy named Mr. Tarrant. Right away, I put him to the text. If the bathroom passes free, all you have to do is take it and go. This year, the bathrooms are right across the hall. It's always been easy to get a way out of doing work. I can be really sneaky like that. I can take the pass all the time and the teachers never notice. And like I said, Mr. Chair was a rookie, so I knew he wasn't going to catch me. Dive the Wimpy Kid, Cabin Fever. <coughs> to Tinko. November, Saturday. Most people look forward to the holidays, but the stretch between Thanksgiving and Christmas just makes me a nervous wreck. If you make a mistake in the first 11 months of the year, it's no big deal. But if you do something wrong during the holiday season, you're gonna pay for it. Maybe you would have gotten more presents if you hadn't pinched your brother last week. It's too much pressure to be on your best behavior for a whole month. The most I can really handle is six or seven days in a row. So if they move Thanksgiving to the week before Christmas, it would be fine by me. Sister, sisters, are you sure you're not all packed? You're not forgetting anything? What about the tent? Yes, I packed the tent. What about the flares, batteries, extra water? Dennis, we're only driving from California to Colorado. Yeah, so why are you so stressed? You're not even coming. Maps, do you have the maps? OMG, I'm suffering from the worst case of crush-itis ever. This morning, I had these itchy, fluttery butterflies in my stomach that were making me feel super nauseous. But in a really good way. I felt so insanely happy, I could just vomit. Sunshine, rainbows, glitter, confetti, and um, those yummy sk Skittles little candy thingies. I still can't believe my crush Brandon actually texted me last night after I left his birthday party. And you'll never guess what happened. He asked me out to Crazy Burger. And yes, I know it's not a real date or anything, but still, guts. Die of the Wimpy Kid. First of all, let me get something straight with you. This is a journal, not a diary. I know what it says on the cover, but when mom went out to buy this thing, I specifically told her, get one that didn't say diary on it. Great. All I need is for some jerk to catch me carrying this book and get the wrong idea. Sissy punch. The other thing I want to clear up right away is that this was mom's idea, not mine. But if she thinks I'm going to write down my feelings in here or whatever 
She's crazy. So don't expect me to be all, Dear Diary this and Dear Diary that. Dork Diaries, Tales from a Not-So-Smart Miss Know-It-All. Wednesday, January 1st. O-M-G! I cannot believe I'm actually going to go through with this. It's supposed to be just a little prank, but I have to admit, I'm a little worried. I really need to think about the consequences of my actions. Because if something goes wrong, there's a chance that someone could actually end up dead. Yes, that's correct. Dead. Namely, me! Because if my parents find out I'm about to pull this, I'm about to do this stupid stunt I'm planning to pull, they are going to kill me. It all started when Chloe and Zoe and I decided to have a sleepover during our winter break from school. We excitedly counted down to the seconds to midnight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Die of the Wumpy Kid, Dog Days. by Jeff Kenny. For me, summer vacation is basically a three month guilt trip. Just because the weather is nice, everyone expects you to be, out, all, be outside all day, frolicking or whatever. And if you don't spend every second outdoors, people think there's something wrong with you. But the truth is, I've always been more of an indoor person. The way I like to spend my summer vacation is in front of a TV or playing video games with the curtains closed and the lights turned off. Mr. Tear falls again. It was one of those farts that stung so bad you could taste it. One of those that made your eyes water and forced you to tuck your nose under your shirt collar. It must have been hot and steamy coming out because there's no other exclamation for its hard stench. I know, it sounds like your classic silent but deadly. It wasn't. Her fart ripped out like a firecracker when it went off. That's right, it wasn't me. It was Lexi. She dropped her stink bomb one day during the summer when we were helping Mr. T move our old classroom down to the sixth grade annex. After last year, I wanted to spend all my time with Mr. T. I didn't want a day to go by that I wasn't with him. That's why I spent my summer vacation helping him with the move. Besides, Mom and Dad weren't around. They were working all the time, even in the summer. Diary of the Wimpy Kid, double down. My October, Wednesday. My parents are always saying that the world doesn't revolve around me. But sometimes, I wonder if it actually does. When I was a little, little kid, I saw this movie about a man whose whole life is secretly being filmed for a TV show. This guy is famous all over the world, and he doesn't know it. Well, ever since I saw that movie, I've kind of figured the same thing is probably happening to me. Hope you creeps are enjoying yourself. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe at the end of the day. Because once you comment what book you want, I will be doing a read aloud of the most voted video. Bye!